All right. Uh, good evening, Coach MTB and Oheb. Uh, welcome to our post-match conference. Uh, I think we can start the question and answer now. Uh, in what aspect of the game uh, did you have a hard time against Fireflux for Coach? Uh, I think uh, number one, yung ano, yung unexpected draft talaga nila. Lalo na yung layward pick. Yung un un unorthodox pick nila. Then yung number two is yung aggressiveness talaga nila. Lalo na sa early game. Sobrang uh, nakalamang sila kasi sobrang aggressive nila maglaro. Uh, for for Oheb, uh, how will this loss affect the, the mindset of the team in, in the knockout stage? Ano siguro? Tingin ko ano eh. Ano na rin eh. Lesson learned na rin sa amin. Hindi ko alam eh. Parang tuwing na, na, nag-a-win streak kami, parang yung next games namin, nag-iiba yung laro namin. Play style yung, yung ano sa game. Yung kung paano laro yung mindset sa game. Hindi ko alam eh. Parang nag-iiba laro namin kapag nag-win streak kami lagi. Nung MPL pa eh. Uh, so Oweb was saying that uh, he's actually not sure because uh, what happened is kind of uh, a recurring, uh, it's kind of recurring for Blacklist. Whenever they make a win streak, their gameplay kind of falters right after. So they'll try to reset. Coach MTB, so yeah, napalsin ko sa game two, the, the, the eventual series clincher. It was a game of, so to say this, game of errors. Kasi parang, you had your early errors, then eventually mid-game, nag-error din ng power flux. Then in the end, kaya yung nagka, pagkamali nyo yung naging, naging deciding factor. So, how will you be, parang how to say this, how will you learn from, nga, mga nakita yung mga mistakes, and how will you bounce back from this? Nga, how to... Yeah, usually naman pinag-aaralan naman talaga lahat ng ano, lahat ng nangyari in game. Eh, hindi lang yung ano, hindi lang yung mali. Pati yung mga tamang ginawa nila. Pero gaya nga na sinabi ni Oheb, uh, iba talaga eh, iba talaga yung naging laro kanina. Uh, hindi hindi dapat ganoon karami yung maging error. So after after namin ma-review yung games, tsaka namin ano, tsaka kami magde-decide kung ano yung dapat namin gawin. Okay, for international audience coach MTV said that they will they will study the game right after, but in his initial assessment, uh, he will he, they will look to in to minimize the errors entering the playoffs starting this Saturday. Yeah, thank you. Right. So, hi, Blacklist. Uh, tough loss indeed. So, anyway, either of you could answer this question. Um, what can you say about Ross's overall performance? He was spectacular. I gotta say, he's spectacular in both games. Uh, we were really looking for ano, for Rosa because during MC he wasn't able to play, and we already know how good Rosa is. That's why we expected this uh, performance uh, to be like that. But yeah, I think uh, one thing is we underperformed on this uh, on this match, but hopefully we we get a rematch with them. That's my only question. Thank you so much. Any other questions? Um, good evening and well done sa performance nyo kahit um, natalo. Pero... My question is for your upcoming games um how will you prepare knowing that um you had quite a few errors earlier how will you adjust from those errors for the question is for the both of you Yeah nangyari naman na sa amin to during ano during MPL season 12 uh, ilang beses siyang nangyari so, katulad ng ginagawa namin doon, usually talaga pinag-aaralan namin kung saan ba talaga kami nagkaka-error at kung bakit ba kami nagkakaroon ng errors. Then, doon kami nag adjust Doon namin nilalaro yung, ano, yung strategies namin para hindi na maulit yung error. So, Coach MTV said that it's it's not something unique. It has happened a lot in MPL Season 12. So, what they usually do is just they really study where 
it went wrong, they study the errors and make sure that it uh, they address those errors in the next games. For Oheb naman, uh, ano naramdaman mo nung nakita mo na naubos yung apat sa implosion nung game number one? Anong adjustments na sinabi nyo nung medyo nag-snowball na yung Fireflux that time? Ano eh? Nung sinabi ko doon nung, nung naubos sila sa turtle, lamang na lamang, sabi ko lang, lamang na lamang ako sa katapat ko. Kasi nakuha ko lahat ng crab, tas napag-plating pa ako na early. Kaso hindi namin masyado nakagawa ng play kasi nung gawa ng second turtle, dapat doon kami sana makakabawi. Kaso naubos, natala lang din kami ulit sa second turtle. Kaya ano, yun na. Nagtuloy-tuloy na yung snowball ng Fireflux. So, to our international media, media or audience, Oheb said that he was already um, Okay, so my question to Oheb was what was the adjustment made by the team when he saw that four members of Blacklist International was caught by the implosion of that Tigril. And he said that he was already um, leading it against his opponent in the gold lane. And uh, they were they tried to um, get the lead again for the first turtle take, but for, for the first and second turtle take, they couldn't get that advantage and they just lost game number one. I forgot to ask this earlier, but uh, when I during late in the game, I noticed that uh, Rene J was the last to make to level fifteen. So, do you think uh, if he bopped up faster, the game would have changed? So, in Tagalog, ah, kung kung tuwaban ng mas maaga si Rene J, kaya ba kaya yung laban laban? Uh, I think yung room hindi nagumatay kung gaano kasi la kataba. Ah, uh, uh, basa magawa nila yung ano yung role nila at nagawa naman yun ni Rene J. Sadyang ano, uh, kinapos lang talaga kami. So, Coach MTB somehow praised uh, Rene J for his role despite him being the last to get buffed up. So, But in the end, they still did not prevail. Thank you. Any other questions? Alright, uh, I think that's it for this uh, interview tonight.